What's up, Faku? Good to see you. Um, how was uh, how was your off season? I, and were you able to? I know last year was so difficult and compressed. Were you able to take a step back and relax a little bit? Yeah, I was able to to rest a little bit. I've been in Argentina after the Olympic Games. Uh, when the the season uh, over, I went to well, to Las Vegas to the national team uh, to the training camp. So I couldn't rest too much there. Uh, I played Olympic Games, and after that, I went to Argentina and, and spent time with the family and friends. I had like 20 days, one month, uh, just resting and trying to get more energy for the season. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Hey, Faku. Um, what did you learn from your first season in the NBA, and what do you want to improve upon uh, for this upcoming season? Uh, I learned a lot from my teammates, from the coach, uh, from the league. Uh, I just try to learn uh, as much as possible. Uh, but I think the big thing for me was like, you have to be ready because you have a, an opportunity every day, you know? So I will keep that in my mind, try to be ready in every, in every game, in every opportunity. Uh, I, think, I, I would try to think in that way. Chris Marlowe, Altitude Sports. Hi, Faku. Hey, I was wondering, what, what was the biggest adjustment in your three-point shooting in your first season in the NBA? Line's a little bit longer. You shot 35%. What kind of a, an adjustment was it coming over, and how much better can you do this season? It's like you say, the line is a little bit longer than FIBA. Uh, I have to get used to that. Uh, I am trying to get used to that. Uh, this season is going to be part of the adaptation as well. Uh, and also, if I have the shot, I just have to take it. If I'm alone in, and if I think it's a good shot, uh, uh, I have to take it. I think that is it's a big deal uh, to learn in my game. And keep training, you know, keep training, uh, keep uh, working on my shot, try to be uh, as detailed as possible and, and think in that way. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Faku, thanks for taking the time. Uh, do you, given that Jamal's going to be out for at least the initial portion of the season, do, do you approach this year a little bit differently than you might have last year where didn't know necessarily how the point guard situation was going to shake out. Now it looks like it's going to be you and Monte competing for the starting spot. I would try to be ready in every game, you know, uh, try to uh, do my role uh, as best as possible. Uh, we we know Jamal is not going to start the season uh, till I don't know when, but I will try to do my best to hide that and, and put my energy there, you know. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hola, Facu, ¿qué tal? Te saluda Leonardo Torres desde Perú. Espero que estés bien. Facu, eh, te juega mucho en la cabeza el tema de ser titular o no. Y si es que has podido conversar con Leandro y con Gabriel sobre la representación argentina en la NBA en esta temporada. Gracias. Eh, no, 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 no me juego. Yo me intento preparar siempre de la misma manera, eh, sea titular o sea suplente. Eh, intentar estar preparado para cualquiera de las dos situaciones eh, y bueno, hacerlo lo mejor posible, tomar lectura de la situación eh, de la que estamos viendo en la temporada y aprovecharla, aprovechar la oportunidad, eh, entrenar duro, estar siempre preparado. Y, y bueno, muy contento ¿no? por, por las incorporaciones que hay en este año de los argentinos en la NBA, creo que le hace muy, muy bien al básquet latino también. Eh, Así que nada, contento porque les vaya bien. No hablé mucho todavía, hablé poco, pero estaban contentos ellos de empezar entrenando con sus equipos y empezar a jugar. Así que nada, los voy a disfrutar mucho viéndolos por la tele y los voy a sufrir eh, cuando los, me toque enfrentarlos. ¿no? Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Faka, good to see you. Um, last season, of course, you had to make a big adjustment going to the NBA. Was there anything that really surprised you or that kind of caught you unexpected and that this season you'll be better prepared to go in having learned from that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said before, uh, the triple line was the, the, the harder thing for me. Uh, it's more 
far away from the ring, uh, than FIBA. Uh, and I am working on that. Also, the, the court is bigger than FIBA, so you have more space. Uh, and the big men can be in the zone more than three seconds. So that is all new for me. Uh, I just try to adapt as, as soon as possible. So there, it's going to be a challenge for me. Uh, I will try to be ready for that. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Faku. Um, last year was kind of like a whirlwind in, in terms of how close the games were. Um, how much more comfortable do you feel with an offseason under you and, and, you know, going to training camp and knowing the guys, the system better? Do you feel better about where you are playing in the NBA now than last year? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because uh, uh, that's why I, it was like one season in the NBA. I played the Olympic Games. I feel like I have more confidence on my game. I know the, the, the rivals, the other teams, the league. I know more my teammates. So I, 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 have to, I want to take advantage of that and try to do my best season in, 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 compared to the last season, no? you know? So uh, I would try to, to do my best, you know? Harrison Wind, DNVR. Hey, Faku, have you had any conversations with Malone or Monte about who the starter is going to be, or, or does is that something that's been brought up at all? No, we haven't. We haven't. Uh, now we we are we will put our energy in, in the training camp to just to practice every day and be ready for uh, for the season. You know, is uh, we we didn't talk with the coach or Monte. Just we just try to enjoy every time together. You know. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Faku, have you had a chance to interact at all with Bones Highland and just uh, learn about him a little bit, what the energy that he brings? What do you, what do you think that he could bring to the team this year? You say energy, uh, point. He, he's a great scorer. He's so smart playing the pick and roll. Also, he likes to compete, you know, uh, and that is very important for this team, compete in defense and offense. So I think he's going to be a, a, a great player for us. I'm very happy for, for him to be here in Nuggets. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Facu, en la temporada pasada, tú mencionaste que eras un poco desconocido y eso jugaba a favor en tu juego. ¿Cómo puedes canalizar que ahora ya no eres un desconocido para esta temporada? Bueno, tratar de estar preparado. Eh, ahora me, quizá me conozcan más después de la temporada pasada. Entonces, nada, es un gran desafío para mí para, para estar preparado en cada partido, para estar listo, para estar preparado y, y hacer las cosas lo mejor posible. Eso me exige el 100% siempre. Eh, después de la temporada pasada me va a exigir el 100% de estar listo, de, de hacer las cosas bien. Eh, yo también conozco a los rivales, a los otros equipos, conozco más la liga, entonces bueno, quiero aprovechar eso y, y, y hacerlo lo mejor posible durante la temporada. Marlo, Altitude Sports. Faku, uh, can you describe what it's like for you personally to play with Nikola Jokic on the court? It's great. He's one step in front of everyone, I think. He's in the offense before it happened, you know? Uh, and he makes us better players after every game. And I think that is very important for us having uh, uh, a player like him. He played as an MVP uh, last season. Uh, for him, it's going to be a challenge, I think, this season too. So uh, we are going to try to be on his side and do our best to, to make him better. No? Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Hey, Faku, um, coach said earlier that he wants the team to run more this year. And I know uh, we all know that you do some of your best work in the open court. Um, just just um, is that music to your ears? The coach wants to run more. And what will that do for the Nuggets if you guys are able to get into more fast breaking situations? Uh, I like that. I like to run the court, the fast break. I think one of my favorite games Uh it's not going to be easy. Uh, it's always a challenge for us to try to improve our game. So it's going to be tough for us, but we want, we want that. We want to play that like that, you know? So um, I think if we want to run better, we have to play great defense because defense give you 
good option in offense, even if we want to run. So we have to take advantage of, we have to improve as like a, in defense uh, as a team uh, that will make us like run much better at the court. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Faku, um, how does Nicola look to you? Does he look hungry and eager or is he tired from the off season at all? Uh, he, how he look at me? No, how does he look in general? Oh, in ter- oh he looks great. He, he, he was been like here working before I, I get here, you know, in Denver. Uh, he's preparing for the season as an MVP, you know, so uh, he's a professional. He, uh, he's training a lot. He's training hard, so I'm very happy for that. And how does he look at you? Too good. I think it's not. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just messing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Faku. Bye.